What's up, everybody? This is JT back with another episode. So, first thing, two homies riding in this in a pickup truck with a dog in the back. How many times has everyone done that? Loaded rifle. Come on, everybody, every day. Especially where I'm from. Not where I live currently, but where I reside. You hit a bump, the dog jumps on the trigger, blasts your homie in the head. It sounds legit, right? There's no way this happened. And ever, ever since I've been coherent of my mind, there's no way a dog shot a human in the back of the head with a rifle. How did the rifle lean over there? How did it get the angle? I understand a dog's foot hitting it, but dude, there's no way a dog shot another a human in the back of the head. This to me sounds like the greatest CIA suicide I've ever heard. You know the times where they like they shot themselves in the head twice? The double murder? Just to make sure, like, yep, nothing to see here. Suicide. The old Dave Chappelle joke where they sprinkle crack on top. Case closed, as they like to say. And then, another one. This dude's posted up in front of his yard. A coyote comes and attacks one of his dogs. He just body slams and starts going to work. Cut to me, about five years ago. Out in the hills of Golden, Colorado, training for marathons, running these hills every day, getting just completely swollen. These coyotes baited my dog. There's been, for, for at first there was days where they just howled and they just kept calling us in, and I was like, man, and it was at dusk every time, like the sun was setting, and then on the way back down the mountain one time. They followed us up, and I was watching them. And I was like, man, what the fuck are these motherfuckers going to do? Turned back around, and my dog chased one of them. They brought my dog out to this clearing, and they all jumped him. Meanwhile, I'm running towards the clearing with a fucking log in my hand that I found. Like, I was just... Because I knew that they were setting my dog up. And they were attacking my dog fucking all six of them and I just I grabbed my log and threw it in the middle almost hit one of them and they just dispersed and I was like fucking I was going crazy bro I was fucking screaming ah, ah. I was Leonidas in 300 just going buck wild and that's how I know I'm down I ran into a pack of coyotes to defend my dog's honor because there's no way I'm going to watch my dog catch a fade because I'm going to catch one too I'm, and ever since then me and my dog used to run that fucking hill and I used to bring knives with me, fucking sharpen sticks, and we fucking, we were like, uh, every time I was going for blood, I was like, hopefully one of these bitches show up today. But before all that, it was the night Trump got elected and there was a super moon. And I took 100 milligrams of a chibachu and I was, I'm telling you, I was deep into running at this time. And I took off me and my dog went to coyote hill that's why i named it after this on the super moon ran to the top of that shit gazed upon it and was like we're gonna make this fucking world ours one time i mean if trump could do it anyone could do it and that's all i was thinking i was like this is the night trump got elected like where were you at i was on a coyote hill on the super moon two weeks later we got attacked but shout out to that guy like there's that video of the guy getting attacked his dog getting attacked by kangaroo there's a video of a guy his dog getting attacked by coyote and both those dudes handled business and then i saw a video of a lady and her daughter getting attacked by raccoon and it was just disgraceful and that's why you just you know women shouldn't fight wars you see like dudes fighting for the man's best friend and then you see a, a mother fighting for her two-year-old daughter and it was just disgrace they're just not meant for violence dude 
Unless they know how to use a fucking 38 special or something, but. That's that, man. There's nothing like getting attacked by wild dogs. Until you've been in that situation. And then, dude, the last, one of the last nights in those apartments on, in Golden, Colorado, on the western side of Colorado, of Denver, we were walking, and we saw, I used to run at 3 a.m. in the morning, and then run at like 5 p.m. at night, based on my schedule, and we went, I, we went out early one morning, 3, 3 a.m., and we heard this big fucking thing, like, pushing through these brush bushes, and I was like, what the fuck is that shit? And it looked up at me and it had big fucking yellow eyes. And I swear, bro, I just kept fucking running. I was like, what the fuck is that shit? I think it was a mountain lion. <sighs> but, dude, it, basically, if you live in those mountains, there's shit out there, dude. Especially if you're venturing. Like I was, I was bound to catch a fade, but long sticks, knives, I was bound to get a gun, some pepper spray or something. But we had encounters. And at that three o'clock hour is when I saw one of the most glorious asteroids. I saw a blue fucking huge asteroid where you can see like the dots of the meteorite on it. But I've always been fascinated by that 3 a.m. hour. They say it's the devil's hour. I just think it's the hour where everyone's asleep so you can catch a peace of mind. But if you do get spooky, I've been watching this. I've been listening to this dude. It's called Mr. Creeps on YouTube. And it's some, there's no way these stories are real. There's no way. But um, I used to sit in my grandma's basement in the dark just to conquer that that feeling. I'm telling we used to, we used to call it the dungeon, and I used to sit down there and just be like, "Whatever's down here, come and get me, come and fucking get me." Nothing ever did. At least I don't think, <laughs> because some of them they say like these ghosts and demons are like parasites. They go up in you. And they live until you can trick them into going to, to something else. I know. Sounds like some real female shit. I feel like this is what the nuns you made up back in the day. They used to ask the nuns what they're dreaming of, their fake dreams. You know how girls just like pretend to have dreams and they'll just like, and then I had this dream and then and then. And you're just like, stop pretending. We all know girls don't sleep. Because every time I get up in the middle of the night to go take a hit out of the bong on the low or go to the bathroom on the low, my lady wakes up and she's like, why are you getting up? What are you doing? And I'm like, I thought this was the witch's hour. And I'm trying to get faded real quick. Put an earbud in my ear. Listen to the Mr. Creeps get spooky and pass out bro but everyone know girls don't sleep they'll wake up and tell you a fake dream they'll be like yo like blah blah blah, blah. and you're just waiting you're like please tell me. if you mention one name that I'm not familiar with I'm gonna have a fucking problem we don't need new names in these dreams and I don't even want to know but we all know your lady will wake up and just tell you the most random made up dream. You're just like, let's see where this science fiction novel goes. But you know, that's JT. Stay strong. And you better have that pretender face on too. Like you just heard the best story of your life. Like, no way, that's crazy. Yeah. But that's one time for the one time. We've done some. <laughs>